Hi guys, I will get this vlog right. I think I've just spent the past, I don't know, couple of hours or so trying to get this fucking vlog right. Pardon the French. Anyway, <clears throat> I'm actually going to pour a drink because I've done so much yapping. My voice is actually getting a bit, my throat is getting a bit dry. So I'm going to sit you there for a minute while I chat. As you know, Monday, I had a compliance officer come over from the DWP, um, taking a statement from me um, regarding being reported for working while claiming, which I haven't been, it's all, you know, just being personal, but they can only go by what they've been reported or been told, or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, me and Mum thought of a few things afterwards that we should have said when he was here. Um, and some things that we should have said that explained my situation a bit clearer. So Mum contacted him yesterday, left my name and address on the answer phone, which is what he instructed us to do. Because he said... Uh, Where did that come from? I've got a big dent in my freezer door. I don't remember doing that. Ooh, spooky. Anyway, he said he'll wait three days or give us three days to contact him again if we want to change anything. So, we contacted him and um, he said we can write out another statement, which Mum did today with me present. I signed it, Mum signed it, and uh, he said once it was signed and all that, and what and that, and we'd, uh, I don't think my fridge door was shut properly, and um, everything was hunky-dory, he gave Mum an address to post it to, so we posted it, but before I posted it, I did um, make copies of the statement, so I've got a copy here as well. I should have scanned it in at the PC so I had a copy on the computer as well, but never mind. I've got a hard copy, I could scan that tomorrow or something. But, uh, ew. This is dripping wet. Ew. Right. Yeah, I know who did it, but. And I know she did it out of spite. But, uh, technically. I was still doing wrong because I didn't notify the DWP that I had sold a bike every time I'd sold one. Which, if you're claiming JSA or ESA, you are supposed to do. So yeah, I have done wrong, and I will face the punishment for it, and I will admit I did do wrong there, but that's all I've done wrong. <coughs> but, uh... Yep, that's all posted off. Um, I did get so much anger build up over the past four days that I have taken it out on the bedroom door, so I've got to find a new one. Oh, no, no. Pardon me, but that's a bit better. Wet my whistle. Yeah. <coughs> I completely forgot what I was talking about now. Oh yeah, the door. Yeah, but um, it's not necessarily a bad thing, because uh, I've been wanting to find a better door to put in there anyway, because that was pretty shit. Mm -hmm. It was one I trash-picked, so... I've now got an excuse. <laughs> So, not all's bad. It's in, still in the bedroom. It's just leaning up on the wall. But, um... Just as a future tip for anyone watching this, if you do feel frustrated, angry, and you do feel like taking it out on someone, or something, I should say, not someone, well, actually, even if you do feel like taking it out on someone, find something like an old door, old washing machine, whatever you can find that d 
doesn't work, preferably, and you don't want, preferably, and just knock ten bells out of it with the nearest, biggest, bluntest object you can find. And trust me, five, ten minutes doing that, you'll feel a hell of a lot better. Because I did that, and I'm not kidding, I stood, after I, yeah, after about five minutes, I stood and I just stared at the door and what I'd done, and I just felt ten times better, like a huge weight had just been lifted off my shoulders. And all that frustration I had built up inside me had just left. So, that is a method I would recommend. Obviously, don't do it on things you want. Unless, of course, you plan to change them anyway and you need an excuse to do so. <laughs> like I did with the door. But, uh... Yeah. Um... <clears throat> um... <clears throat> I put some new outside lights up at Mum's uh, Tuesday when I was there. Um, well, they're not new. Not new, new, you know, not brand new. <coughs> um, they're lanterns, in the style of lanterns. Um, but I've got a passive infrared sensor on them, PIR sensor on them. Um, and we were told they were working, but when I put them up, I couldn't get them to work. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it yesterday, and I was thinking about it today when I was there. But I thought, hang on, they've got screws underneath where the sensor is, obviously to adjust the settings. So when it started to get a bit dark this afternoon, I took a little screwdriver out there, and I think I spent about ten minutes between the two lanterns I put up. So I put one up by the back door, which is the main door they use, and one down the drive. It's like a communal drive. It goes to the landlord's garden. It goes down to the yard as well. But I stuck one up because the gar mum's garden is pretty much the other side of the drive. <laughs> Quite a weird setup, really, but it works. So, as there's power to the garden for the pond stuff, I stuck a light on the fence because it was easy, good to see to get to the car because the car parks on that side as well. So I stuck one there, um, with the sensor facing away from the road, so anything that went along the road wouldn't trigger the bloody light. And uh, I think I spent about ten minutes just tweaking the sensors, when I figured out which one did what. <laughs> and I think I figured it out that one was just for the timer, how long the light stayed on for till it went off. And one was to adjust the um, photo cell, because I had a photo cell underneath. So I think that adjusted that, so the light started working. So you could leave it on all, the on all day, but it will only start working when the light, natural light dropped to a certain level. Um, and I think that's the reason it wasn't working when I put them up Tuesday, because the settings were out. But uh, they're working now, they're working perfectly fine. But it's just great that they can now leave the lights on all the time and they will only come on when someone walks past. Uh, it's, they're in the middle of the countryside, so there's no street lights or anything. So it is quite handy to have those. Um, yeah, so that's quite interesting. It took me about ten minutes to put both up as well, because it's a matter of taking one off the wall disconnecting the wire, connect the wire to the other light and put a screw through it using the existing screw holes. Well actually I cheated, it's only held up there with one screw. It's quite a long screw and it is anchored up there tightly but only one screw. <coughs> um, same with the fence, I just cut the wire off the old light because the old one that was on the um, fence down the drive, it had a PIR sensor on it but the um, photo cell didn't seem to work, so it worked daytime and nighttime. So whenever anyone went down the drive, the damn light came on. 
So um, I decided, as we, as they got given two of these lanterns, to put the other one down the drive. To cure that problem. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Something else I like doing, the odd bit of electrical work now and again. <clears throat> careful about how I use the word work, really, shouldn't I? Because by electrical work, I mean tasks around the home. <clears throat> and to think, you know, some people used to tell me you should charge for your work on bikes when people ask you to fix them. You should charge, you could make a lot of money. And I'm thinking, nah, or I turn, always turn around and say, nah, don't charge mates and family. Friends and family don't get charged. And now this has come to light where I got reported for working. I'm so fucking glad I never did charge. Because that would have put me right in the shit. Jesus. You can't win, really, can you? <clears throat> oh well, one day I'll get a job. I've got to see my job centre advisor yeah, Tuesday. And yes, I am pulling funny faces when I make those funny noises. I just haven't got the camera on my face. Yeah, I've got to see him um, Tuesday, 11.15, so no laying in Tuesday. What fucking day are we on? Thursday, that's it. Well, it's about half an hour left of Thursday. Oh dear. <clears throat> uh, what should I talk about? Should we talk about something a bit more cheerful? I know it's not a Lego channel, but should we do Lego? Well, I think Lego is my most favourite hobby. Out of all the hobbies I do, I probably spend the most time with the Lego. Um, I am actually aiming to make this a completed model because a number of times I've tried street scenes and whatnot and never really got them to a finished stage so it would be nice to get this to a finished stage it's not really that far off I just need a few buildings in here maybe a car park somewhere uh, shitloads of those tiles and uh, maybe a bit of detail on the parkland over there. Maybe a couple of buildings in here. Maybe one in here, I don't know. Some some stuff on the beach. I want to have six on the beach. Sorry, I had to go there with that song. <laughs> so, it's not really that far off. It's just getting the parts I need to finish it. Buildings themselves probably won't be a problem. Not for what to do a red roof like that one anyway, because I do have plenty of those parts to do that, and I only want you know, a handful of buildings, if I can think of anything to put on there. <laughs> uh, yeah. So it is going to look or be completely finished. And then once I'm bored with it, I can dismantle it and build something else. That's why I like Lego as an art medium. You can build something like this, and you can have a kick-ass display for as long as you want, and as soon as you're bored, you can just, you know, put the proverbial bulldozer through it and start again with something else. You know, there's people that build ginormous battleships and... I don't know what else they build, <coughs> but they can take, you know, a year to build some of their models. So I don't think they're as keen to break them up as uh, perhaps I would be to break something like this up. But, uh, yeah, lately I've actually been in more of a mood to buy Lego parts than I have to buy Lego sets. Unless I can find... Lego sets I want, like that, you know, sets that aren't 
made anymore and I can get them at a good price then I might buy those but at the moment I'm more interested in just buying parts. I know I've got loads there but when you think of a project I can guarantee you'll have to buy more to complete the project. That's just how it works with Lego. Uh, that's why I've got on order, which should come tomorrow, about th I think I bought 30 of these little clear pieces in here, transparent pieces, because as you can see I don't really have any of them. And I do like using them, and I have found um, an eBayer who's selling things at quite a bargain price. Price. Sure, I'm not pronouncing certain words properly. Either yeah, that or my hearing's gone. Anyway, he's doing them at a bargain price, so every now and again I will um, buy a few things from him. And he has, from the look of it, or last time I looked, um, expanded what he was selling on eBay, so I'll um, have a little look see, maybe in a little in a little bit. So I've got. Literally, I think I've got two pounds in PayPal and two pounds in my bank, so I might be able to get a couple of packs of tiles or something from him. And uh, next time I get paid, I uh, should have a bit more spare cash so I could get something else. Because he has got quite a variety of um, parts. I'm not going to get anything I don't really need at the moment, like... Most of these parts in here I've got enough of at the moment. Unless I use them for a project and then I need extras, then I will buy them. But basically I'm just going to buy parts that I actually need for a project. Or that I don't have a lot of, like those transparent pieces. So uh, the next lot I might buy will be um, more of those grey tiles. Because I've got two sides of sidewalk to do. I want to do in this area as well and around there and there to make it look a bit more finished. But I haven't decided on colour. Because you don't get many variations in colour with Lego. And that's probably one of its uh, downsides. Well, you do like those, but they're not common. <laughs> those shades of greens and pinks. For some reason, Lego like to concentrate on common colours like red, black, grey, blue and yellow, or and white. But, uh, you know, unless you go to Lego's pick-a-brick store, or the um, pick-a-brick wall at a Lego shop, an official Lego shop, not something like your supermarket, they don't have them, but the actual Lego shops have a big wall where you just fill a cup full of bricks and uh, other than that you won't get the um, odd colours like that like those sort of lime green colours the dark green <coughs> is a more common colour orange seems to have been added over the recent years as a standard colour um, I think brown has although they're not as common, same as tan. I've got a few tan there, a few orange and whatnot. But uh, yeah, but I do see it as an art medium <coughs> to me. I mean, yeah, to kids it's still a toy, and technically it is still a toy. But if you see some of the sculptures and things people build out of this stuff, it's just amazing. It amazes me. That's why I love sharing them on my um, Lego Facebook page. I've got a page with over two and a half thousand page likes. So, <laughs> and I've got probably two thousand of those likes this year. And I've had the page two years. But for some reason, the amount of page likes I had, especially earlier this year... <coughs> probably from about February, March onwards, the amount of likes I got just skyrocketed. And um, all I did was, because um, obviously with the Lego page, I've liked a lot of other Lego pages. So when I go on my Lego page, 
all I do is hit like from a posts from other Lego pages and share the post to mine as well. And from doing that, my likes has, page likes has just gone poof, straight up. <laughs> so, it's awesome. Although my Lego YouTube channel isn't as popular, I've only got 100, I think 159 likes last time I looked. Ooh, I might have to cut this video short because I'm dying for a piss. Again. Oh, here we go. Uh, tell you what. 162. So it has gone up. I've got one subscriber on a channel that I don't use. <laughs> so I have no idea why that person has uh, subscribed. Oh, I've got two notifications. Go away. I don't want Long and Life coming after me for copyright. <laughs> ah, someone's added me to his circles on Google Plus. I don't really use Google Plus, but Plus, rather not Plus. <laughs> I made a fast station once out of Lego and it was awesome. It's Lego. Everything is awesome. Perhaps I should reply to that as I, um, uh, <laughs> reference to the Lego movie. Everything is awesome. And even if you're not into Lego, I do recommend watching that movie because it is a good, a good family movie to sit and watch together with your family. You, the kids. Um, I was going to say the humour is good, but I suppose that's uh, subjective depending on what the individual person finds funny. Because we're all different. But to me, I did like the humour. Um, I'm not going to say anything about it, because that'll spoil it. If you haven't seen it already. And I do believe there's another one in the making. I do believe they used stop motion animation for some of it as well, if I remember correctly. But, uh, yeah, I'm still, I still collect the sets. No. Most of this lot I actually built from um, all of those bricks. <laughs> they're not actually purchased sets. It's ju they're just sets I've made using instructions that I've downloaded from there and uh, built out my own bricks. Um, I've did buy a job lot of Lego and get the instructions for that one and that little house there from the 60s believe it or not and most of the Lego that I got the instructions with I actually built that so <coughs> that's probably a pretty original 60s set down there but yeah this one we built out my own Lego that one I've downloaded the instructions and bought parts for to complete it. Duh. Pardon me. Although it does, it's missing an, a, um, an antenna. But they are expensive and rare to get, so I don't mind leaving that bit out. It's actually one of these. The other thing I might do, you know, is buy an incomplete set like this one. For example, this police station I bought on eBay, incomplete, and uh, I completed it. Um, some parts I could complete it with, I already had. Other parts I bought from a site called Bricklink to complete it. Same with that one, that was incomplete, so was the fire station. I think this first shell station out of the two, the one closest to us, I think that was actually complete. Uh, that was incomplete when I got it. So was that. So yeah. But there is a bunch. Some of them, especially over here, with, these, with the um, 80 sets, some I bought on eBay, some I built myself. I built this one myself, and it is 100% complete. Actually, I think the hook is wrong. I can't remember. I think the little hook on the front of here is wrong. 
Um, but bought that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. Most of those up there I bought, except that one, that one, that one, that one. No, that came with a job lot. And those three on the end there, all the rest I bought. Actually, I just remembered, that one came in a job lot of loose Lego I bought. So I technically bought that one as well. Yeah, apart from that, I think the majority of them I did buy. It's just a lot of the really dinky ones. I mean, most of these I've built out of my own Lego. I don't think I bought any of them, to be honest. Uh, no, I'm pretty certain I didn't. That came in a job, job lot of Lego, so I restored that one. So it was missing a few bits. And it's the only... Lego sort of Knights theme, I think that was with, that I've got. I don't have any more sets like that. But uh, they seem to be quite pricey. But uh, I suppose that's to be expected. Every last space set up there I built from downloaded instructions. Uh, but I do believe all the sets except... Oh! No, there's quite a few sets up there actually that um, I built myself. That one, little yellow car, this one, that one, that one, that one, and this far truck I, all, I built myself. Apart from that, all the others were purchased. But again, because they're not huge vintage sets, they weren't expensive, to be honest. I think one of the most expensive ones that I bought up here was probably this one, which I think was something like £10. I can't remember what that one was, but that was probably the second most expensive. And yeah, apart from that, because they're only small vintage town sets, they didn't really cost an arm and a leg. Same as these ones, they were less than £10. I mean, really, even now, to get a police car like this one is only a, probably about two, three pounds you might pay for it. Same as a little black car. Same as a lot of these. <laughs> these, they're not really worth a lot, and I think it's probably because you can build most of them out of any box of loose Lego. So they use, you know, they're built from common parts. So uh, that's probably why they don't sell for a lot. Uh, anyway, I don't want to ramble on too much. Uh, I don't think I have anything planned for tomorrow might put the lights up in the bedroom window ready because uh, these ones in the lounge are all done, they're all wired, they're all ready to be plugged in and ready to go closer to the time. Uh, I've got to get power set up for that which I'm going to make a short extension lead for. It's only going to be made out of two core flex which is uh, down there but it'll be perfectly fine for that because there's no earth on these anyway. And I will only use it for those lights. And then I'll either dismantle it after Christmas or pack it up with the Christmas gear and use it next year. Uh, what else? I do want to find a home for that speaker up there. I want to put it in use somewhere, but I haven't figured out where to put it yet. <laughs> uh, da -da -da. Yeah, that's about it, I think. So, uh... Uh, yeah, I'll disappear then. Finish doing a few things on the PC, then I'm going to go and chill out in bed for an hour or so. So, uh, thanks a lot for watching. And, uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video.
or hit the dislike button if you thought it was a crap video, it's up to you. Don't forget to subscribe for more daily videos, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.